Moshi Moshi my Gamers and welcome back to Genshi Impact. According to Smiley Yan Chao, you should be fine no matter how tricky the customer, but it seems that his every such intensity tempts fate. Today we're gonna finish up doing the cooking tax. Alright, Smiley Chao, let's do this. Morning! Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Thanks again. No problem. With days of experience now under your belt, your work is becoming Great second nature. Work. Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Wait, no! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. Who's <laughs> <laughs> laughing like this? Dude, what up, bro? Wait, Ito! I didn't know you were it's in the <laughs> It's always nice to <gasps> Do on a date? But uh, wait, did I say that right? Um, I guess. And oh my god, I think she's enjoying this date. Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuma abroad, boss. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far <gasps> what? from home, don't we, Ayato? Ayato. <laughs> Of the sky cleaving white iron variety, <laughs> and my compadre too. All my buddies in one place. God, today's my lucky day. Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? How come you're back in Lily so soon? Ah, that could wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing more at me. Right now, um... I have a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good spicy food. Um, I don't think she wants that. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakado's okay and whatnot. To look at his face says to be, don't fucking ask. Okay, okay, woman, okay. So, what about you, Ayato? Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could, but alas, it was too late. I had cut by the way. What? You missed it? Aw, oh, man, what a bummer! Quite the bummer, indeed. Though all is not lost, since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. <laughs> sure thing, my man. But uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef, anyway? Hey, get the chef out here! I got compadres to feed! I'm the chef. Yeah, sure, me too. Wait, what? Wow, <laughs> Book Chucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. But the main chef is another guy. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. What? You and Pong go to the kitchen and fetch smiling chow. So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the palace jewels, a trembling strings and rushing reeds, or... Boss, don't forget the budget. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more, uh, down to earth? Down to earth. Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows. Hmm? A bro just knows? Yes, a bro just knows! <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows! Is this for real? Oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, before anything else, I'm gonna sit down and listen to the conversation. Seriously, if I'd blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff just launched itself a bloom pruner and sent it flying. I'd expect no less of the bona fide beetle battle king himself. It sounds like a truly epoch defining duel. Ooh. Okay, um, well, she not. Oh, she's staying with She's just staying with you. You okay, you go? <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so I made some excuses and slipped away. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. Yeah, no problem, Cookie Shinobu. Look, he is your idiot, so what can I do about it? Oh, like, Chow? Well, I mean, Yan Chow. No name. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, why is it called hum 
assembly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Tofu? Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Old Bullchucker can't eat that. Nope. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> no one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito. Hey, Where's our food at? Hurry up, I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. How about we throw some free appetizer in? Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. Yeah, thanks, Shinobu. Oh, okay, stop cooking. Are these pigs? I'm gonna die! <laughs> a fancy and no gossip. No gossip. No, I could barely say that word. Louis style dish. One's number one choice of the hearty chicken. This dish requires one to craft the color in a maze of mito from tofu, which demands much as the chef's seasoning skills. Words has it that the dish was designed for those with older folks with weak teeth. Perhaps it's also a chef's duty to ensure that all people can enjoy good food. Uh, I eat the go on. Alright, we are chopping down. Okay, got it. Tofu, here we go. Child will be, I mean, child will be like, is that tofu? Can I eat them? Uh, we didn't order any. Fuck. Uh, could I have some at least? Uh, actually, ask Ito. Who the fuck is that? Demon? No. That's an Oni. He has horns. He has horns. That's a, that's an Oni, not a demon. Oh, no mind, I sense it. Now we're gonna sell this. Ugh, I like the sound way it makes. So let go. Okay. Okay. And then let go. That's good. I'm satisfied with that noise. <laughs> okay, here we go. Pour that in. Now we're gonna stir the right moment. There you go. Just one? Okay! That was fast. Oh, look at that. That looks very tasty, you know. Ooh. Hmm, let's see. What color? What color? I don't keep the same color. What is something that will look like Ito style? Probably this one. And... Let's just give him this. Yeah, this one. Why not? Here you go. Alright, humble enough. Eat! Ah, food's here! Oh, so this is humbly enough! You guys don't mess around! Woo! Love me that portion size! Come on, compadre, grab a seat! We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old timey traditions weren't your style. Not that I finished in the kitchen, I'm a guest too. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Ah. Uh. He knows something. You, Pot Eyes, and Shinobu helps me sell, leaving very little me behind. <laughs> I see. Finally, it's my turn. I spy a big oh, jump. Hell. Hell. <laughs> he looks so creepy. <laughs> oh, he's, he, he might die. He might die. I don't like this. Huh? Wait, uh, what is it now? Uh, you got this, Paimon. Uh, okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh, Paimon forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of this dish. Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet! Uh, well, um, skipping the origin story is like... Like, going traveling without a tour guide! 
Oh lord, look at Paimon. You get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? My compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right then, give me the full story. I'm all ears. That's okay. I get. Let's start with the ingredients. Actually, no. Let's start with the story of Wang Xuan, which starts with the history of Dihua Marsh. Now's our chance, traveler. Got it. You I do this right. You should begin to go with on the dish. Man, the tale of Dihua. <laughs> <laughs> We ate all day, damn! Pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah, that's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no segue to Tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. But will we be on stuff? Uh, oh, compadre, Shinobu! Have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Wait, boss, that's made of... One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge... Oh my god, they're, they're the trying to stop him from eating that. So they get killed. devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them... I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course, including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it. I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fan, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? Oh, good. Oh, that was a disaster. Oh, I seen down. Count Crushmore. Instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. You didn't really come for the Okaboto fighting contest, did you? <laughs> this whole time, what the hell? Imagine. That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No. In truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. How come you didn't come to the Lantern Wild then? Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu... Yes. I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. Ito goes, What the fuck is my tofu? Ah, uh, <laughs> another garbage. What the? What? I'm gonna stand very close to both of you because why not? I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. So, what did you really come to with it? Well, uh, thing is. I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Just because he's here already! No other reason! <laughs> so close to them, so funny. <laughs> oh, well, you two have fun! Ugh, now that's over. We've got like one more day to do with. Alright, now, smiley child, we've got one more to do with. Looks like that's all sorted. Alright. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. Yeah, the rest of the day passes without incident. Alright, next for the next day. Oh, this is the last day. How time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. Aww. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. Uh, why does Paimon feel like you just jinxed us again? I don't know. The day passes without incident. Is that short? <laughs> we made it all the way to the evening. It ended up being a pretty smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, 
We were struggling to remember who ordered what. But everything's a piece of cake now. The day still isn't over yet. Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? Uh, actually, now that Paimon thinks <gasps> oh and his my God. siblings oh! it's time the first oh my God, look! Look, okay! All I am on a day, and they bought, look, they bought, I mean, not Luca, okay, I mean, <laughs> they bought me Katu as the dead wheel, why? They should have been those two only. Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Amber? And you are Mika too! Are you here for dinner? Why so late in the day? We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. The original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. But Captain Eula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Liyue cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip, so I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? Well, welcome to Washington Inn. Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? The traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You came at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy her cooking before the original chef takes back the rings. Wow, really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. So, what shall we get? Hmm, I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Eula, what are you in the mood for? Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary night's cooking for myself. I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. Hmm, something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Beyond that, anything goes. Wasn't it your idea to come here, though? Eesh, this is like getting blood from a stone. All right, guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Huh? Then I guess... Eh, I don't really mind either. Anything goes. Did anything? That's what they're saying. Oh, 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 this was awkward. You bought Mika as a dead wheel while these two could be alone together. Why did you bring Mika with you? I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither of them can drink. It's a real pity. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. <laughs> sparkling water? I mean, okay, now let's go to Smiling Yan Chao for this. I was hoping Chao will show up here, but I guess he did not. I mean, he's probably well warming. Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. This is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customers' palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Go on. Show them what you've got. Hmm, let me think. What would they like? What could they be craving? Oh, I know one. A penis! Alright, let's move on. Now, a simple dish filled with the rice food straight from the wok. Made from stir fried ham, buzz eggs, rice, and all manner of other ingredients. They say that the my way recipe for fried rice have resulted into being considered the first choice for those who don't know what to eat at the moment. Of note is the fact that the simple dish is, in truth, of oh, quite the corporate test of the chef's capabilities. All these skills and wheels, they say, will go get you a dish that brings back memories of home. Serves them up! Alright, I'm the main character. We are going to cook this. Now, pepping the meat. Oh yeah, ham. And chop away. Oh, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Eight flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm putting drugs in there. I mean, they'll get high. It's not weed, that's good. Oh my, Tony has some pussy noises. As it was like Amber fingering Ula. Alright. That's a three, and a two, a three, and then a four. There you go. Ah, satisfied. <laughs> he has cute faces. Oh my. Alright. We're gonna press the right moment that says 
And a one. Oh, shit! Okay, my bad! And then two. Oh. Okay, one mistake. That's good. That's fine. Oh, look at that fight device! Hold up. Hmm. I think we should just stick with this light. And two birds. Like for Amber and Ula. Alright, here you go. Why is it called anything go? It's a fight device. With the beat. Mmm, this is delicious. Perfectly seasoned. And even the rice is bursting with flavor. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. <laughs> You've put the finest Pavonian field rations to shame. And that's no mean feat. So, tell us, traveler. What's this one called? It's called... Guessing we can't just call it anything goes, right? No. Oh, hell, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this dish at all. It's got no name. It's just basic ingredients simply cooked. Hmm. Breakfast. Basic ingredients simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here. Or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. This isn't the finest dish in the world. Not the finest dish in the world, but the one they need right now. Okay, you've lost Paimon. What do you mean? Yeah, you only been eating filled with vegetation this entire time. So you mean, we only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Mmm, there's got to be more to it than that. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Oh, kinda like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Yeah. It's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh, but Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying lyric cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just meant the feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Comfort? Coming home? Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. Hmm, okay. What? Makes for a tasty dish is highly suggestive. Hmm, but the chefs chatter to all comers. And that's the chef's passion for putting smiles on customers' faces. So in other words, the secret ingredient is passion? Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words, I'll remember this recipe. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? I haven't really thought that far. Hmm. How about right at home? Sure, Amber. Let's listen to- <gasps> Wait, what is Sipri from your girlfriend? <sighs> okay, okay, I'll talk to Mika first. Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. Maybe passion was the secret ingredient then too. Hmm, yeah. You are better, Mika. I get us to Ula. The rations oh, are down. Never mind. for my signature moon pies. To come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. Stay. Thanks, Ula. Please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. But you gotta force down my throat while Amber's watching the background? <laughs> no, the Luigi, Amber's posing. I'll smack that ass. Huh? Ula will kick my ass. Oh, hi! I didn't say anything. Hmm. Amber? Uh, sorry. I zoned out just now. Didn't see you coming. Got something on your mind? Yeah. That food you cooked for us just now? It reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me. I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I'd do my outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner, and even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could tell she really enjoyed the food. And maybe that's why she suggested you come here for dinner? <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. 
Amber, oh Amber, oh Narcissus thinks, oh she was stalking us. <laughs> oh wait a minute, are they looking at each other like, oh Amber, I'm staring at your ass. <laughs> you got the good ass, girl. <laughs> They're staring at each other's ass. How are you just staying there? There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. My pleasure. Assume I'm still being paid, that is. <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here, take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Call it a bonus. Hard work is rewarded here. Yay! Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. Well, I for one look forward to enjoying your cooking many more times in the future. <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time and I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao uh. can do when working with both hands intact. Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just jinxed it again. Mm. I mean, yeah, sure. Alright guys, I'm gonna do. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.